70 kilometers from Rashidabad, traveling on dirt roads. We arrive at a village called Mirwa. People are seen walking. Their faces and feet burnt by the blistering sun. They say they are hungry. A small village in central Sindh, where most of the people work in fields for local landlords. Upwards of 10% or more of Mirwa's population is deaf. And we find at least one deaf person per household. None of the deaf children have access to school. Kulsum's family is an example of just one amongst many like hers. My name is Kulsum. I have five children, four are deaf, and one is hearing. They don't go to school because they are deaf. My husband is also deaf. He works as a farmer, but not full-time, only when he is needed for some jobs. It is difficult. Everyone's deaf. The entire household is deaf. I have to do everything myself. If someone comes knocking, I have to leave everything and answer. We don't know if and when the next meal will come. My kids cry a lot. I want to give these helpless kids an education, but how? My eldest son has gone to herd the goats. When he finishes, he might get some money and we might then get to eat. He is a little boy with big responsibilities. Even if they were to attend school, we would need to buy them uniforms. We don't have the money. The schoolmasters tell us we will have to get them pants, new clothes. Life is difficult for the poor. If there were a school for deaf children nearby, we would be so happy to send them, all four of them. If a school is built nearby, you go, learn how to read, how to write, 